Welcome to Conservation Fridays with Barry Conservation District. My name is Sarah Huderman, the BCK SISMA coordinator. BCK, standing for Barry, Calhoun, and Kalamazoo counties, highlighted in green on the map. This is our service area. The SISMA is a cooperative invasive species management area involving mutual assistance and working toward a common goal. That goal being to combat the threat of invasive species in Barry, Calhoun, and Kalamazoo counties. We do this through outreach, survey, and treatment, and utilize that network of partners to maximize our efforts. These partners include local state and federal agencies, local municipalities, the Gun Lake Tribe, nonprofits, and educational institutions. Our funding comes from four major outlets. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources Invasive Species Grant Program funds the core, um, provides the core funding for SISMAs to operate. In addition to um, funding to address those high priority species that have been found in Michigan. MDARD helps um, support work in monitoring and controlling invasive species that affect those agricultural and rural areas. The Great Lakes Restoration Initiative provides funding to address our waterways and the overall health of the Great Lakes watershed. Landowners and um, local organizations receive treatments from us um, for a fee. Those services, um, the treatment is helping to control invasive species such as Japanese knotweed, Phragmites, myelaminate weed, black swallow wart, and Chinese ham. So, what do those look like? Phragmites can be found commonly on roadsides wetlands, and in bodies of water. They're really tall with fluffy seed heads that persist through the winter. Japanese knotweed is a bamboo-like plant. Um, it has big kind of heart-shaped leaves and white flowers that just got done blooming in August and September. It'll proceed to um, die off, um, get brittle, and this resist Stems that will persist through the winter as well will be of a red color. This plant is extremely hazardous as it can regrow from a small fragment of its live plant. It can grow through asphalt foundations and destroy fence lines. We have three vines on the screen that we are um, actively trading, including Chinese yam on the bottom left, Mile a minute weed with its triangle shaped leaves and black swallow work with its small black flowers. Currently, we have four major pests that we are concerned with or actively controlling. We have a team that goes out once a week. Um, at night to remove red swamp crayfish from a park in Vicksburg, Michigan, which is in Kalamazoo County. Uh, beach leaf disease has been recently found on the east side of the state um, and is caused by a nematode, that translucent worm that can be seen in the bottom left. Um, the only way to tell that it's there is through this bar pattern that happens on the leaves. Um, from it eating the inside of the leaves. Spotted lanternfly is on everyone's mind. It's the fly in the middle of the screen. They can be a nuisance and can cause some damage to our crop trees. Um, this is the adult phase of it. Um, there is a small population in Oakland county that's been kind of contained, but it's being found increasingly closer to the border of Michigan. We have traps throughout the southern Michigan um, and checking it bi-weekly to make sure that we catch 
any infestation quickly. And the Asian longhorn beetle has long been on the list to watch out for. Luckily, it has not been found in Michigan yet. This is just a drop in the bucket of invasive species that are of concern um, for Michigan and for Barry, Calhoun, and Kalamazoo County. Um, we are here as a resource and can be found in Hastings um, or via phone and email listed on the screen. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help.